Hi, dear friend. I'm really grateful and glad that we meet again. And I'm also excited that in this video, I will be able to show you how you can combine or create game in Google Classroom, right, in such a way as to arouse interest of your students in your topic and in your lesson especially, right? And uh, in this case, we will actually be showing you step by step how do you create this wonderful game called What Am I? Right, with specific instructions that you can design in such a way that you can give the students some pictoria or any other clues, right? So that they can actually answer and key in the answer of what they think that clue is about, right? And this topic, there will be. Um, this clue will be directly uh, related to the topic of your lesson and uh, after that you will be able to give marks to your students to increase their interest in your lesson and also give some wonderful encouragement comments privately to each and every student right after you have marked them and returned to them all right i hope you love this video and if you like to uh, be first to be notified of our future video please click subscribe at the bottom give me a comment all right and please remember to click the bell so that you'll be first to be notified all right so we'll dive right in And now, we will show you step by step how do you create a fun game lesson in the Google Classroom to solicit the arousal of interest of your topic. Alright, so what do you do is that uh, this game that we are going to introduce is called What Am I? Alright, so it's a guess of a picture that is very zoomed into a certain picture that you want them to guess what is it. Alright, and that particular picture will be in relation to your topic right so you must get the pictures ready okay so for example if i'm uh, going to teach uh, uh, anonyms on presence and what is the uh, different uh, so-called usage of presence all right so what we can do is first i have found this picture all right in pixel bay all right there are a lot of pictures that you can find from there that is free that you can download Right, so you can find any pictures there that is related to your topic, right? Download it, save it into your Google Drive, right? In this case, I have this picture that I'll be showing you the answer at the end of uh, that, that activity, that game activity. So what I'll do is I have to take a smaller picture that is a zoom in of this that is not easy to guess, all right? So I have already introduced uh, a, a, a very important and very useful tool that's called Snipping Tool, all right? Which is this Snipping Tool here, all right? So, uh, and this um, video, I have, uh, I have actually in my uh, channel, yeah, please subscribe and you can find my uh, uh, video or you can click on this line on top here, alright. So, this snipping tool, alright, if you were to uh, 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 turn it on, alright, you will be able to immediately click on new and you can snip any picture that you want over here, any size, alright. Um, and I'm going to sneak a bigger picture because it, that is a step two of the game. I'll show you the clue one that I've already saved into my Google Drive. So let's say for example, I'm going to give a bigger clue. Alright, and this, this is my bigger clue. Alright, and I'm going to make it easy for my students so that it will be really fun. Okay, so somehow like that. Okay, so in this picture, alright, I will save it. Alright, by saving uh, this picture into my hard drive by clicking on File, Save As. Alright, I'll just change it to Clue. I've already got Clue 1, Clue 2. Zoom now. Alright, sorry, zoom out. Okay, cool. I've saved this picture. Okay, back into the Google Drive. I already have this Clue 1 that I've uh, mentioned to you just now. Right, just to show you, this is a zoom-in version, which is supposedly is very difficult to, to guess, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so, and uh, if this clue 1 doesn't work, they can look at clue 2, and that was the one that we just said. Okay, I've opened up, I've opened up the big uh, folder just beside the Google Drive, so that I can easily just pull the picture over to the drive and let go. Alright, the second clue will be transferred over to the Google Drives. Alright? Okay, once we have all the clues that we need, that's as the picture for what am I. Alright? Now we I only need these two pictures. Okay, so we'll go into the Google Classroom and start setting it up. Okay, back in the Google Classroom to set up this game. Alright, what am I game? Alright, it's very simple. The idea is for them to look at the picture and guess what is the 
the the item that is the, that the picture represents. All right. So that will mean that we can actually use a question from it, a question uh, for the students to type in the answer. Okay. So what we'll do is go to classroom here, a classwork. Click on the classwork, and then you click on create at the top. Uh, this uh, item here, create with the plus sign. Click on it. All right. Look for this question. Click on question. Okay. Now we will type in the game title. What am I? Um, lesson starter. You may want to do that. Okay. This is to arouse interest. All right. Game. One mind. Okay, so once they see game, they will be very interested. Alright, if if not, you can actually put game in front. Alright. Okay, cool. So what you do is add in the pictures, alright, for the clues. Okay, so it was actually in Google Drive, and since you just saved it, it should be in your recent. Alright, click on the Google Drive, and you will find it in recent. Okay, so I have clue one. Now, insert clue one first. Next, we'll insert clue two as well. Okay, once both the clues one and two are uploaded, now type in the instruction. And I've already done that, right? So the instruction is actually for them to guess what these two I these two pictures represent. You can give additional clues to make sure that they got all in the correct direction that you want. Like for example, this is one word, and it is non-limiting, and certain any other thing that you wish. Okay, then you give them the steps, right? So they are very clear. They can do this all on their own. Okay, click on the first clue. Guess what is it? Click on second clue. Double confirm their guess. Type in the answer in answer space. And then turn in. I'll show you the view of the students just in a while. Right, there are other information that you may need to confirm before you click con uh, ask. All right, that is the topic. All right, it's good to actually have the topics that is according to your topic name so that you can easily find all your assignment or um, activities in the future. So, this item, sorry, it's actually uh, these topics is synonyms, therefore, them to use different words. All right, okay, so. Um, at the same time, you may want to give them some marks if you want to. Alright, for example, it's just a simple game to, to make it interesting, two marks. Alright, uh, just to in, arouse the interest. Okay, you may want to allow the students to be able to uh, edit the answer, but it may not be advisable to allow them to reply to each other. Okay, that's, that's the beginning of the lesson. Alright, so once you're satisfied with all the information, and if you want to click for all students, yeah, just to confirm. Okay, you can actually choose students, alright? Uh, for all students, then you just have to click ask and then the answer, the question is, the game is launched, ask. Okay, the confirmation uh, panel out, you click ask again. Right, when the question is launched, you look like that and now just like to double confirm that I've got all the information correct. The title here, who am I? What am I? Is a game. Okay, all the instruction and two clues, and we are ready to go. Now we are at the students page, the students view of the Google Classroom, and they can actually find the item here, the class starter activity, the game. What am I here, right on top of their stream? All right, they just have to click on it. All right, following this instruction at the beginning of your lesson, they can actually give you the answer straight away. All right, guess what is it? Click on the first clue. Click on the first clue. Take a look. Alright, follow the second instruction, click the second clue. Alright, take a look. Alright, okay, give it a good guess. Alright, maybe, and then type in the answer here in your answer. Alright, as maybe they say gift. Alright, which is cool, fantastic, because that is what we want. Okay, different words for the same meaning. Alright, so then they, after that, follow the last clue, okay, the last instruction, turn it. They just have to hand it in. Alright. Okay, now it's with hand-in version, they will actually see this edit in this box of the hand-in, uh, turn-in box, right? So in this case, they can they are allowed to head, uh, edit as we have already clicked it, right? So they, once they click edit, they can change the answer, all right? They can change to present, all right? Up to that, okay, cool. And they hand-in again. 
turn our back at the, the teacher's view, right? In the Google Classroom, the teacher will see this, all right? And they can, you can actually click student's answer and you will see the student. Just now, the student has handed in ABC student. Okay, so if you want to see the answer is actually straight away for the question format, all right? The answer is straight away below their name, present. Okay, so what you can do is you can give them the mark straight away, all right? Save. Okay, don't worry, even if you want to give them mark, they will not see the mark yet until you return to them. Alright, so you, you, you can actually see the mark being reflected here, it's not returned yet. So they can't see the mark yet and you can actually in fact give them answer. Then give them a comment. Good job. Alright, so once your comment is sent to them, okay, click the, egg, the triangle at the side, the comment is uh, given to them and then you can click on this hand in person. Alright, and then you want to return to them. Click return and only the student you have clicked, those that have turned in, in this case, would have the marks returned to them. Alright, and it is marked at the bottom. Okay, cool. Okay, so now I place the teacher's view on the left and the student's view on the right side by side to see what both of you will be seeing. Once you have returned to them, okay, you will see the not, the not, not return is gone, it's confirmed return. Right, and the student will receive it at the bottom here. Alright, good job. And it's considered marked. And the mark is given right on top here. Okay, and this is actually a private command. Only that student will be able to see the command. Alright, and it's a wonderful game to interest the, uh, the students to start thinking about this item called, this idea called present, which is a topic for today and for this lesson and what. Okay, so um, I hope you like this video of a game starter lesson in uh, Google Classroom and if you love this video and future video and you would like to be notified of future and to say uh, I do um, video okay tag video please click subscribe at the bottom or click subscribe at this round button here and then I will see you again take care